YouTube town the Freedom Charter Square. Once our nation's pride and great revolutionaries escapes place. Clip town, home of freedom. Freedom Charter was drafted in 1955 here in Clip town. Clip town is known for its revolutionaries and its resilience within the apartheid times facing the country. Clip Town is the first community is the first black community to have a CBT within its own community of Soweto. <laughs> Right now, we are going to the team of fire. They must be fired. They know about this place. They know about every time. And they're the only time they have to say that 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 they have to say Right now, we don't want to see their faces, man. 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 Yes, man, I'm a petrol, man, 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 what we need right now, make our roads better, make our services better. Those are, those are services that we are asking for. We are those good government and everyone else, but we need good sacrifices. Instead, what is happening right now, we are told that there's no spaces in our communities to build houses, but there's, uh, there's a space for a shop right right now. A shop right Right. Mm. <laughs> what we should be, Tina, is that people about Boyagma Township who should be called Zoomers. Mm. When a shop right, they go to back to a PV. We've got a shop right, a PV. We've got the Maponyamo, not very far from that land what we, that we're hoping that Abu Mama and Tumazu Wakela would. Right now, private businesses, money comes first in these communities. Yes, I told you some sort of like, was it a, a, a medical center. People of Clip Town understood. People of Pugo Tide are becoming private. They are not even going to be able to use their casket. They are not even going to be able to use their casket. You are private, private, private. How, how come? Mm. Why didn't we know? I've been attending our meetings since I was almost like 14 years old. I'm able to fast track certain things to happen. <coughs> and that is what I intend to do. But it cannot be outside the scope of what the city has planned to achieve with this air. I'm going to sit in very long meetings with the administrators so that they can be able to bring me up to speed with all the challenges that are here. So that on Monday when we have the dialogue, I'm able to respond. I think we had enough of verbal communication. You understand? Take yourself up. Go to media. And tell who you meet out you to figure like it down. Now, but time is in there, so time frame or time. You give it time frame because my way in a corner, no, still was concentrated in the strat. You still have to win a minimum figure of the Kibu case. And it in the in the Australia or a woman for it, man, you change one that you have done. And after that, Tina sees to go away. If you are saying give and take, we're telling you that okay, we give us a time frame, the strat. When it's going to be implemented, Slung is starting it. Then we come into electrical. Slung is starting it. That will be our agreement. But now that we, what we are asking here, as we look at when I hear that the after the we are fire. You go to yourself, who's born for when you see who made it. You figure that that's so bad. Moshe is in the kitta. Me la ban masi kitta lumba che misinte so. Me na kula guti ma jeni me la so. Wangu mundo mshaba wangu zo wakuma me la it. Who's tired of when? Mm. 
Umangen kuti wa inga kalungi iso. Kwepa ite waze plenu kuti yenziwe. Watu waze plenu kuti strati stungi saka chani. You understand? Ene se mama stungi su strati. Se afu mama stungi su strati be right. I problem yi ne strati. Nangiti. Den manja wena mkulu. Nina mkwetu mkula kutu mpagatu chembi se ukuti mpetu wena. Yos bopa. Na upeti speaker. Yos bopa. Asu intila mpeti skateli mpepa. Nde soa si da so. Nde soa si da skateli nda wazo kuti. Siso koko yora manje. Yo pera tli mati. Kiti mpete wana nito des. Asi zela nga da. Nito des. Nito des. Nito des. Asi zela nga da. Zizu yongo. Nga same situation. Sache lo ngom lo mo. Nata rabu sa dimas bwana kutu kuzo ngeri kontrak. Ya nata nito lo toti lo. Ya mkustan. Ya kupa ibuli mbo. Out of respect for the community, Angela and me, we will respond on issues that are facing the community. I'm committing to a community meeting. The media can come. Verbally. No, no, no. You're committing yourself to the community verbally. What if I'm here now? I'm here now. This one. Oh, yes, I'm here now. 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 I'm here around here but we are now coming today to look at what's happening right that's it right secondly the mayor is proposing that the contractors come they have a look at what they are going to do and they do what they have to do right then what we do afterwards is on monday he calls a meeting right then you go into the memorandum of understanding between the community and the mayor you will then understand what it is that you want, how you want it, and you give the time frames. That's when we deal with the issues. We cannot deal with an issue right now, but we can deal with it on Monday at the meeting that the mayor is calling. The mayor will then say it's costing so much, this is the time frame, this is the people that's coming, and this is what we are doing. When the road is done, you are right. When the road is done, then you go to the electricity, then you go to other things of saying how do we deal with it? Do we have people with 1996 C forms? Do we have people of that? Do we have people of that? And then we deal with that type of thing. That's an actual fact. That is what the mayor is saying now. So the mayor's not, and he says to you, he's not. He didn't come with media, and he didn't come to take pictures. Didn't come to take pictures and said, here I am kissing a baby. Here I am listening to Ukoko. No, we are saying we are all the same as we are here, and we'll deal with the issues after that. I hope. I've tried to make no, you made some it. sense That's into it, Baba. Yeah. I think maybe I've tried yeah. to make yeah, that right. sense. The people of of Clip Town still are facing the harshest times and the hardest poverty and development challenges in post democracy of our country. Since 1994, after our first election, the community of Clip Town has never been developed. The community of Clip Town has been promised by the city of Chobek and all the political leaders that the place will be fixed, the place people will be given houses. Till today, none of that has happened, but the space has got more worse and it's dilapidating and it's danger to the people. Guys, yeah, all the people that is you're getting all the legal I mean, this is a mini sub. Our mini sub. We as the people of Clip Town, we've had enough with the government, and the people of Clip Town are starting to do things themselves. The electricity that the, with the people of Clip Town have been yoga, asking yoga, and track. not getting from the government. The people of Clip Town came to a point till they we will take our electricity back. The people of Clip Town will do anything just to see their neighborhood being recognized as well. Not only being recognized when it's time for votes or time time to talk about our great ANC but the people of Clip Town also have needs and their needs needs to be needs to be recognized also as we are the people of the community 
the people of Cliptown find it in themselves to work together bringing other stuff into the community like helping each other connecting the pipes of water to other yards so that people can have proper water or running water the people of Clifton unite and find themselves in a space where they will go out as a community will steal the electricity just to put a light Having an electricity in South Africa is a human right. All these needs that the, that the people of Cliptown are facing, government is providing none. Yet they're calling people of Cliptown thieves when the people of Cliptown start doing things for themselves. It is said that our government can sell the people of Cliptown's pain to the highest bidder. Our tourists who are coming in every day and in and out to see how the people are living in shame and in poverty while they are living in the Freedom Charter Square. It is with shame. Shame. It is with shame and big shame that we find ourselves still living in a shanty town, subjected to poverty, living in shacks while we celebrating a freedom charter daily. <laughs> Politicians and freedom fighters only see and recognize this beautiful rich community for votes and status or pride to campaign for election or their self-empowerment for those in power and in control. The community's needs and challenges that push away or subjected as criminal activities or illegal activities worse vandalism. It is us, the people who are looking after the Freedom Charter or the guidance of the Freedom.